Good afternoon, friends. It's Miss Susan. Today's activity is going to be painting some cherry blossoms. It's springtime, and there's generally a cherry blossom festival happening down in our nation's capital. So I'm going to start off by reading you this story about cherry blossoms, and then we are going to paint our own cherry blossoms. And what you're going to need for this activity is a piece of white paper. Any size that you have at home is fine. Either a brown marker or brown paint to paint your trunk of your cherry blossom tree. And then some empty seltzer bottles. You see the bottom? It has the print of a cherry blossom water bottles, okay, and a container of some sort to put the paint in. I have some used to go to containers or you can use paper plates and paint, okay. Cherry blossoms are all different colors of pink, shades of different pinks. So if you have pink paint and white paint, you can make different shades of your pink, okay? Or you could use white by itself and pink by itself. And you'll see how they come out when we start to actually do the painting. So first off, I'm gonna start by reading this book, kind of telling us all about the cherry blossoms in springtime. Some white, some pink, all lovely, I think. Each year when spring returns, robins dance on the new grass. Drowsy bees sing to swaying daffodils. Warm breezes make tulips take a bow. In Washington, D.C., Japanese cherry trees take center stage. Their tight pink buds open to put on a breathtaking show. So all around the Tidal Basin in the East Potomac Park, around the Washington Monument, and in unexpected pockets here and there. So there are the cherry blossoms in our nation's capital. From a distance, craggy branches are lost in billowing clouds of snowy white and soft shades of pink. Up close, flowers cluster bigger than your fist clinging to gnarled twigs. Mm -hmm. Branches sweep low, bringing sweet blossom close enough to sniff. Gnarled branches. Some trees have been showing off since 1912 when the people of Tokyo, Japan, sent them as a gift of friendship to America. New trees are planted now and then. See how beautiful those cherry blossom trees are? And this is what the flowers look like. But one thing never changes. For two weeks every spring, crowds pour into our nation's capital for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. They fly kites on the National Mall. They watch a parade and cheer for the Cherry Blossom Queen. They enjoy carnival rides, paddle boats, and a bike rally. And they take pictures, lots and lots of pictures. Look at those branches of that cherry blossom tree. They go in all different directions. 
and they swoop up and they swoop down. Too soon the party's over, delicate petals fade, then fall. In their place, dark leaves and small bright cherries appear. Stroll among the trees in summer, fall or winter, and it's easy to forget the magic hiding inside. But spring remembers. These are the cherries that come after the flowers fall off the tree. And this is what they look like in the fall and in the winter. And in the spring, we can hardly wait to put on a show again. Okay, so here we go. We are going to I'm going to paint up this way so you can see what the tree is going to look like, all right? So again, I just have a like a mild gray for my tree trunk. Just brushing. You have a strong strong foundation, strong trunk. Remember these trees have been around for a really long time. And as they go up, they bend down. They have little gnarly knobs on them. And they get thinner as we go up to the top. Some of them reach down even to the ground. So I'm using a brush, but you could even do this with a marker or with some watercolor paints. Remember, this is a Susan's cherry blossom tree, but you will be painting your cherry blossom tree. You guys can all see my branches. Now it's time to put on my cherry blossoms. So it's gonna have to dry for a little bit. So I went ahead and I had already painted another cherry blossom tree. This one is all dry. So I'm gonna put some paint in my trays. Squeeze it in there. I have two different colors of pink. And, but again, if you don't have different colors of pink, how can we make pink paint? That's right, friends. We can mix red and white together, and you can get a shade of pink. And you can keep doing that, white with a little less red or white with a little more red, and you can make different shades of pink, okay? So now we're going to take our bottle and dab it in the paint. Make sure we get all those little knobbies covered in paint. And now we're going to just dab them all over our tree branches. Just look around your house. Some bottles have different shapes. That's a bigger one. And my white one, a little different shape. And you can go right on top.
families, you can actually set this up uh, at a space where you have your art activities for the children. Make it more self um, independent for the children. The bottles could be in one basket, and the paints can be in another, paper plates, get it all set up. And then when they're ready to paint, they can just go right ahead And before you know it, your cherry blossom tree is looking just like the ones in Washington. The Cherry Blossom Festival. I'm going to go back and do a little bit more. You guys see? Starting to really look at the cherry blossom tree. And you can even put some petals down here on the ground. Maybe it started falling off. I'm going to hold it up. Cherry blossom tree. All right, that's our activity for today. I hope you enjoy painting your cherry blossoms. And when you're out driving by or walking around your neighborhood, take a peek and I bet you can see some cherry blossoms and some cherry trees in your neighborhood. Okay, friends. See you next time.